I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. <laughs> In Axis countries, voting is a rather interesting process. In the German army, for example. All in favor of me, say ya! Yeah. Ya! Yeah. Yeah. Mine. It is unanimous! In the Japanese army, it's even more interesting. One more vote for Tojo. But in a democracy, voting is a little different. People actually run for office, and people actually vote as they please, in peace and whenever possible in time of war. We felt this way in a war a long time ago, when an American general said these words. A very large portion of legal voters of the United States are now under arms in the field. They are American citizens having still their homes and social ties binding them to the states from which they come and to which they will return. In performing their sacred duty to their country in its hour of trial, they should not be deprived of a most precious privilege. That's what we did then. And that's what we're doing now. This November, our country will hold a general election. Americans will vote for men to hold these offices. President, vice president, senators in certain states, and representatives in all states. However, before Americans overseas could vote, it was necessary to solve several problems. The first was distance. Americans were everywhere. To lick the problem of distance, we must fly the ballots. The second problem was eligibility. That meant, of the millions of men overseas, which ones met the voting requirements? Could this man vote? Could this man vote? This man? This man? Hey! How about me? Can I vote? To find that out, first of all, read the posters. What posters? You won't be able to miss them. A series of five posters appearing at intervals will be tacked up everywhere in and around your installation. It's up to you to read these posters. They will tell you how to find out whether you're eligible to vote. They'll also tell you exactly what you must do to vote. There are not only these posters to help you. A voting officer has been appointed in your outfit, and he's been ordered to make himself known to you. The voting laws of every state are different, but practically all states have one thing in common. Practically all of them have made it possible for men overseas to vote by state absentee ballot. If you want to vote, your voting officer will give you a card. Fill it out, front and back. Get it sworn to. And then airmail it, postage free, to your home state capital. If you're eligible to vote, your state will airmail back your absentee ballot or further instructions. If, however, you apply before September 1st, and you don't receive your state absentee ballot by October 1st, you may ask for one of these. If your state is one that approves its use, you can vote with this. Write or print carefully. If you mess up your ballot, your vote will not be counted. So be neat. And don't forget, take your oath. Your government is doing everything in its power to enable you to vote. Posters, your voting officer, applications for state absentee ballots, and official federal war ballots. If everything is not completely clear, stop in, and your voting officer will explain your situation to you personally. But remember, if you don't want to vote, you don't have to. Also remember this, no one can boss your vote.
no one will be marched to vote. And your ballot is a secret. This is an American election. And if you follow the instructions carefully, your ballot will fly home and will make you a part of another American election. And that's important. John the Mouse Travel Map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button 